Hi friends, I hope you're all doing really well. I miss you a lot and I wanted to bring you a story. This one is one of my kids' favorites. It When they were little, it's called Ballerino Nate. Hmm, Ballerino. I wonder what that word means. Let's find out. On the first day of the last week of kindergarten, Nate brought home a permission slip. We're going to the ballet, he said. Yuck, said Nate's brother, Ben. We're going to yuck, yuck, triple yuck. Ben was in the second grade. He knew almost everything. What's a ballet, Nate asked. Bad stuff, Ben said, with girls in dresses. Mom said, that's not true. Ballet is a type of dancing. It's very beautiful. Sometimes ballets even tell stories. She looked at Nate's permission slip. This ballet is called the Springtime Garden. Sarah from my class is, in, is dancing in it, Ben said. Yuck, 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 Ben said. Please stop saying yuck, said mom. Nate loved the ballet. He loved the fluttery costumes that the dancers wore. He loved the way the dancers jumped and leaped and spun. He loved the way their movements looked like music. I wanna learn ballet, Nate said when he got home. You can't, Ben said, you're a boy. But I want to, Nate said. Can I, Mom, please, can I? Classes don't start in the summer, Mom said, but in the fall, I'll find out how old you have to be. All summer, Nate danced. He danced on the smooth, cold tile in the kitchen. He danced in the long, tickly grass of the lawn. He danced on the rough, hot driveway. Mom read him books about ballet. Nate learned the words ballerina and plie and tutu. Boys don't dance, said Ben. Yes, I do, said Nate. Watch. And he jumped into the air, spun around, and came down on his toes like a ballerina. Just before school started again, Mom said, Good news, Nate. I talked to Miss Nadia at the ballet school, and she said you can join the beginner class. Yeah, Nate cheered. I get to be a ballerina. Ben laughed. Boys can't be ballerinas. Yes, they can, said Nate. No, they can't, said Ben. He said it again at night when they were supposed to be asleep. Boys can't be ballerinas. They never, ever, ever can. Ben knew almost everything. Nate chewed the inside of his lip. What if Ben was right? One thing I know about ballerinas, Ben said in the morning, they all have to wear pink shoes. Nate was horrified. I can't wear pink shoes. You have to, Ben said. Pink shoes and a dress. Nate didn't like shoes and he didn't like pink and he didn't like dresses. All summer long, he had danced in bare feet and shorts. He started to cry. Dad came in. What's the matter? Ballet shoes are pink, Nate wailed. Not always, Dad said. They were, they make black ballet shoes and white ones too. And I don't want to wear a dress, sobbed Nate. You won't have to, said Dad. Why do you think so? 
He looked at Ben. Ben? All ballerinas wear pink shoes and dresses, said Ben. That's not true, said Dad. I promise. All ballerinas are girls, said Ben. Most ballerinas are girls, said Dad. Not all. Nate, tell me how many girls played on Ben's Little League team. Two, said Nate as he sniffled. So most of Ben's Little League team was boys, said Dad. Can girls play Little League? Yes, said Nate as he felt a little better. In Little League, girls wore the same uniform as the boys, said Ben. Nate hid his head in his arms. Oh. On Monday, they went to the ballet school. Inside the hallway, two big girls were stretching on the floor. They wore pink tights and pink shiny shoes. Girls, said Ben. I don't care, said Nate, but he did. They heard music coming from a classroom. Nate looked inside. Three more big girls were doing exercises. Nate smiled. Ben said, they're all girls. Ben, please go wait for me in the lobby, said mom. At the next doorway, Mom said, Nate, I think this is your class. Nate peeked in. There were five little girls inside. Go on, Mom said. Nate loved the ballet class. Nate loved his ballet teacher. But on the way home, Ben said, was I right? And Nate miserably nodded. See, said Ben, all ballerinas are girls. They are not, said mom. Nate said, they were. Friday, mom ha said she had a surprise for Nate. I'm going to take you to a real ballet. Our school trip was to a real ballet. Ben said, Sarah was a petunia. Yes, Mom said, that was a real ballet school ballet. This is a professional one. The dancers Nate and I will see get paid to dance. Dancing is their job. Like professional baseball players, Dad said. Major league dancing, have fun. The theater was much bigger and fancier than the one Nate's school had gone to. The stage was enormous. The curtain went up. Nate held his breath. The lights grew brighter and the people on stage began to dance. They were amazing. Watching them made Nate's feet want to dance. Dancers, dancers lifted other dancers high into the air. They looked as if they were flying. They're beautiful, Nate said. He had been watching the dance so hard, he hadn't noticed the dancers. Now he did. They're boys, he whispered. Half of them are boys. Men, said Mom. Yes, they are. When the ballet was finished, mom took Nate to the door at the side of the theater. And after a, a while, one of the dancers came out. He smiled at Nate. Are you a ballerina, Nate asked. The dancer shook his head. No, he said, I am not. Only the top dancers in the company are called ballerinas. And anyway, men can't be ballerinas. Nate looked at the ground. He felt like crying. I know, he said.